Hi, um, I'm Martin Robinson, and um, I'm here from Agalia, uh, and I'm a developer there. I'm just going to pull up the slides because I don't see them on my own screen. Um, uh, there we go. Um, yeah, so so yeah, we can move to the next slide. So um, I don't know, um, some of you have probably heard of Agalia, but I'll just explain um, what we do. Essentially, we're a Spanish cooperative of contractors with around uh, 50 people um, focusing on open source software. Uh, that's part of our core competency. Uh, we're distributed throughout the globe. Um, we have people in the Americas, in Europe, and in Asia. Uh, essentially, we have a decade of web browser experience uh, working on all sorts of open source, open source web browsers. And personally, I'm part of a very active team of people working directly on the web platform itself. Um, there's a lot of us, and uh, it's sometimes hard to separate the work that we do. But I like to think about the web platform work uh, as two different sort of areas. One is standards, working with standards bodies, and the other is working on the implementation of, uh, of the web platform in, uh, in different browsers. So next slide. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about what we've been working on the past six months um, to sort of give you an idea of this, the range of things that we do and um, what we're really excited about. So in terms of JavaScript, our work with CC39 has allowed us to work on a couple upcoming standards that I think are really going to improve things for web developers. The first is BigInt, which allows web developers to use large integers. Um, uh, the floating point representation of numbers doesn't always work well when they get really big. So this will improve JavaScript with certain use cases. The, the next is class fields, which allows developers to annotate um, the members of JavaScript classes, for instance, to make them private, uh, which is essentially adding more object-oriented features to JavaScript itself. Um, and then also, uh, one thing that a lot of developers have told us that they really would like is like a, a standard internationalization API. There are a lot of different JavaScript libraries to do this, but um, having this as a standard makes it a lot, uh, a lot easier to use on the whole. And finally, we've also been working a lot on WebAssembly, the WebAssembly standard, and pushing that forward. The second big area where we do a lot of standards work is with accessibility. And this, uh, this allows browsers to work for people, for instance, who use screen readers, things like that. Um, and we do this by being an active part of the W3C ARIA working group. Uh, we're one of the co-chairs. And we, in the past few months, have been pushing this sort of bureaucratic work of pushing forward specifications, um, uh, m moving these specifications from, from one stage to the next is, is a really big, a really big, uh, really big job. And so we're happy to see that, um, we have moved, some of these specifications have moved to proposed recommendation, others to candidate recommendations, and finally, ARIA 1.2 and the core accessibility API mappings are almost ready to move to the draft specification. So you can move to the next slide. Uh, the other side of the work we do is implementation, which means that we're working upstream on almost every open source browser. Um, this includes Firefox, uh, Safari through WebKit, um, as well as Chrome and Servo. So, in line with our in line with our specification work, we're implementing at the same time BigInt and SpiderMonkey and JavaScript Core. Um, and this is really nice because it allows us to have this internal feedback when we're working on specifications. Um, and in the same way, we're working on the implementation of class fields in V8. Both really excited about these things. Um, in terms of CSS, 
we uh, in the past few years we were working very hard to get CSS shipping in WebKit and Chrome CSS Grid I mean and uh, we're continuing the work to polish that and uh, sort of remove all the bugs as well as adding new features from the spec and also making sure that it works with more extreme use cases such as really really big CSS grids. Um, but as of right now, you should be able to use CSS in all modern browsers, CSS Grid. Um, in addition, we're working on improvements and additions to CSS text, CSS containment, and improving the CSS styling of elements during editing. Uh, also, as part of our effort to improve web platform predictability, we're improving uh, the sort of uh, uniformity of behavior uh, with scrolling and editing. In particular, editing is one of those areas where there's a lot of differences between the browsers and it's a very complex uh, part of the code. And finally, um, all of this is sort of bolstered by our work on the web platform tests, which ensure first that the changes we make don't regress, and finally that the behavior is the same across all browsers, which means that it's safe to use by web developers. Uh, you can move to the next slide. So that was just a quick overview of what we've been doing. Um, if you want more information about Egalia and the kind of work that we do, I recommend checking out Frederick Wang's blog post or contacting us online or just finding me on Twitter and asking me any kind of questions you want. I'm happy to answer them. All right, that's all for me. Thanks.